Hey y'all, it's June 21st, 2021, and I'm just swinging by one of our properties uh, in Austin, in the Millwood area, very close to the Apple campus. We picked up this project about two months ago and we are working on the finishing details. So I wanted to give you a up close tour of what we've done and stay tuned. We love installing these custom doors. They're just so beautiful. We haven't done the finish work yet, but this has just been stained with a clear coat to really feature those beautiful grains in the natural wood. Upon entering, you can see that we have these really nice high ceilings. In this house, we've replaced all the floors and all the baseboards. We have a three inch baseboard and we've also repainted everything in this house. So the white ceiling is just a standard ceiling paint but on the walls, this is a little bit of a gray, super tiny bit gray, but it's a Sherwin-Williams Incredible White, and we love, love, love this color. You'll see we have original 1980s aluminum windows here. There is a huge back order in windows right now, so that's probably our biggest bottleneck in this project is getting those windows uh, in. But we've ordered white vinyl windows, and they should be in uh, another 10 days or so. I realize that this fireplace is not exactly attractive at this moment, but we are going to update it and you will see what it looks like after. The fireplace itself, we'll just clean it up, maybe uh, spray paint the, the gold uh, black, like a matte black, but otherwise uh, we'll just leave it as it is. So it was very difficult to take out and expensive. Very excited about this project. It's going to take this uh, old, worn out looking fireplace and turn it into modern, beautiful looking the, that somebody's really going to love for years to come. We love the Sputnik sort of mid-century modern style, so we've kind of included those features in this home. In the kitchen. In the kitchen, we have just installed the countertops uh, last weekend. This is all new kitchen cabinets, 42 inches, and these are actually um, what we call RTA cabinets. Uh, RTA cabinets are called ready to assemble, which means that they are basically flat packs um, from, you know, Asia. And then they have soft clothes and dovetail. They're actually really nice quality if you want to see here. And they have soft clothes. Here's the Lazy Susan. And then we have, you know, a kitchen base. We love the big farm sinks. Um, they're actually just so nice to use compared to the old style where they're divided. So we have all of this done. This is a higher end Viaterra quartz countertop. It's three centimeters thick. And in this space, we're gonna put in a wine fridge, which is a really nice luxury touch. So this home was built in 1984. It has a total of 1,436 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, and a single story. We actually have a really great story about this house in particular. In our very first flip in 2018, we purchased a property um, in the neighborhood over, which is also in Millwood, but just a different part of it. And we had purchased, I guess it was her parents' home. Uh, it was a very smooth transaction. We bought that home uh, and we flipped it. And three years later, the daughter contacted James and asked if we would buy her home. And we made a really great agreement where we, um, you know, purchased it for two hundred eighty-five thousand, and the after repair value of this place is currently upwards of five hundred thousand. So the margins on this one is also really good. So the learning in this one is really about relationships and networking and staying in touch with your clients uh, so that they keep you at top of mind because you never know when someone needs to sell. Uh, she had to sell because she was just tired of the Austin and the way it was developing and growing. And she really wanted to be close to her parents in, in Idaho. So I'm outside now and I kind of wanted to show you uh, the backyard. So this is the backyard. There's this patio here that's going to be all power wash. It's going to look great once it's done. Okay. And then there's going to be probably a little bit of um, sea that we're going to put down. But again, these beautiful, beautiful heritage trees. Backyard is great for, you know, small pets to run around and even for kids to have a place to hang out. As you can see, this is the 2900 PSI Ryobi at 2.3 gallons per minute. But so far he's done this whole fence here pretty quickly, but he has quite a bit more to do. 
especially that patio back there. But look at these trees. They're so stunningly beautiful. Like, and if you're a handy person, you might even consider putting a tree house in there. So yeah, we painted the entire exterior. This is just giving it a really nice um, modern look that, you know, Texans are starting to adapt. This color in particular is called Snowbound by Sherwin-Williams. Just wanted to showcase another cute little feature here are these modern style lamps that are outside. And we will of course be getting rid of this beautiful brass door. And I say beautiful sarcastically. One of the biggest changes we've done is add these LED lights. It brings in tons of light into the room. And that's probably one of our signature items. We always add more light because just it just brings a really great natural feel into the environment. This is the secondary bathroom. We've chosen a glossy black tile. It's actually a graphite tile, which I love. And then a uh, hexagon tile, which is really, really in right now. And then we've cons made it consistent to add the same quartz into the bathroom. In all of our renovations, we like to have one continuous flow of floor throughout the entire home. We just think that it gives a really nice feel rather than having carpets. Um, you know, in Austin, you just don't want to have carpets because of all the allergies that we're notorious for. So this is the primary bedroom here. It's got two beautiful windows uh, to bring in lots of light again. And additionally, there is a skylight, which I love. We also installed matte black doorknobs. Uh, people love that look. And this is the primary bathroom. Again, that quartz is consistent throughout the entire home. We think that when you do that, it also looks really intentional. So we're waiting for the mirrors to come in. And then this is the bathroom right here. Got this beautiful uh, marble-like tile. We actually bought this place in March and then the seller needed a lease back because she needed time to find her new home. So we said, that's no problem. We can lease it back at a dollar a day, which was a great arrangement for both of us. It just helped us cover the, the cost of the flip. We started this probably in the middle of April and we're about two months in now. And we're basically almost done. James is installing the backsplash today and our biggest bottleneck is the windows. The windows, uh, currently they're on a 10 to 12 week lead time and we were supposed to get them in this week but then we got an information from our supplier that they're three weeks delayed which kind of sucks but it gives us more time to go and do some more finish work and i want to talk about um as james is uh working on the backsplash but i love this, these countertops thanks how did you choose these and, and I'm, are you really the boss are you the one who always makes a decision i usually make the decisions when it comes to uh the finishes but james really wanted to do the design on this one so he chose this particular three centimeter quartz, and I think he did a really great job because, you did know- Did you hear that, Jim, James? She what? said you did a great job. Can we say that again? You know, when you have these white cabinets, you want to avoid having everything white. So just having these quartz countertops with these giant veins just breaks it up and gives yeah. it this really nice modern finish. And James put the cabinet, he did all the cabinetry, right? Uh, he did all the cabinetry. You married a really good worker bee, I gotta tell you. And I'm really good at supervising. <laughs> take a break. Hey, take, take a union break. <laughs>